I'm building the fastest possible team in all of Madden 24, starting with cornerback number one. I elected to choose the Ravens and have started with a completely blank squad, but once we finish building the team, we're going to sim this season to see if the fastest possible squad in Madden 24 can make the playoffs. And also as an experiment, with the Ravens being one of Madden's most overpowered teams, I want to see if this team can ultimately win a Super Bowl, even if they don't end up with the best overall. Time to find the fastest corner in the game. I wish we could get Jalen Ramsey, but he's for sure not the fastest. Definitely not Lance Boykin. Sort one more time. We get Tariq Woolen with 98 speed. Welcome to Baltimore. It is so funny scrolling through these rosters because he's literally the only player on the entire team. What a nice first corner to add. He alone brought the team overall up to 40. And the defense is an 88. How does that even make sense? Now time to add the second fastest corner in the game across from Tariq. Now who's going to be our cornerback number two? DJ Turner. Looks like we're getting our first rookie. He literally has 97 speed as a rookie, which is insane. He has fantastic catching too. I mean, even though he's fast, it does kind of suck when your cornerback number two is the 111th ranked cornerback in the league. I mean, that brought our team overall down to 37. It brought our defense down to 81. Not the best of starts for our playoff run. Now time to add our cornerback number three, which is Kalen Barnes. Ooh, actually him and Jacoby. Jacorian Bennett both have 96 speed. I'm gonna go with Jacorian, because at least he's a 71. I mean, he's fast and all, but the 139th ranked corner. I mean, adding him to the team brought our overall down to 35 with a 77 defense now. We might should have just played this season with Tariq Woolen as our only player. Since Kalan Barnes does have 96 speed, we are gonna have to sign him to be our corner four. I mean, this is either gonna go really bad or really good. There's no in between. Between. And we did round out our cornerbacks by adding Caleb Farley with 95 speed as our cornerback number five. Now we're gonna go through and add the fastest offensive lineman at every position, which will hopefully bring this overall up. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be Trent Williams, but please, man, please tell me the fastest left tackle in the game is somebody half decent. Tristan Works will take that. 77 speed for a man this big is ridiculous. We got ourselves an absolute stud and the fourth best left tackle in the game. And crazy enough, Teron Armstead is going to be his backup, who also has 77 speed, which is ridiculous, which does bring our overall all the way up to 89 with a 99 uh -huh. offense? What do you mean? We don't even have a quarterback, running back, or wide receiver yet, which I am curious who's going to end up starting at our skill positions. Guess we'll find out sooner enough. He does have Armstead as a right tackle right now, but that's That'll be fixed once we get our right tackle here. Please tell me the fastest right tackle in the game is somebody as good as Lane Johnson. Bobby Hart's the slowest, but the fastest... Oh, it is Lane Johnson! At least our offensive line is gonna be good. 77 speed and 80 acceleration is ridiculous. Now, how much did Lane Johnson boost this overall? It's still 89 with a 99 offense. Why did this dumb game put Teron Armstead at tight end? Now, unfortunately, I do feel like we are due for... For an absolute stinker. Jason Kelsey is a 74. Are you kidding me? Like, this man looks like a grandfather, yet has 74 speed. The offensive line might end up the best positional group on the team, especially if Jason Kelsey can be duplicated. I just realized Tyler Lindenbaum, the original Ravens center, actually has higher speed than Jason Kelsey at 76. So Kelsey's gonna have to be the backup. Why does he keep putting our centers at guard? Well, great. Tyler dropped our overall to 88. Thanks a lot. Hopefully right guard isn't a stinker. We get Sam Cosme a 77 overall. 77 overall with 77 speed and 82 excel. Which I mean, I guess it could be worse. Now the left guard position to complete the offensive line before we move on to an even crazier position. Please be like a 90 plus. It's a 71 rated. But 76 speed and 81 excel is good for a lineman, which does officially complete the fastest offensive line in the NFL. That does bring our overall down to 83, but the offense is still at an 88. But boys, we're just getting started. We might as well go ahead and get our fastest tight end, because I can't deal with Teron Armstead being our starter any longer. Come on, Madden. Please give me a banger. Please give me a banger. Kyle Pitts! We're gonna get both Kyle Pitts and Taysom Hill. Pitts is gonna be our starter with 91 speed 
which is ridiculous for a tight end. We also get Taysom Hill with 90 speed, who probably can play a bunch of other positions. To round out our tight ends, we get a converted wide receiver in Elijah Higgins with 89 speed, and thank God we get to add the 94th ranked tight end. I have to say, that is one interesting tight end room, which brings the teams overall to 84 with an 89 offense and a 79 defense. Why does the game keep putting these players at strange positions? I do wonder who's going to end up being our quarterback and running back. But I think it's time to start adding to this defense. Now let's see who we get to add at free safety. JT Woods. Or we can go with Daxton Hill because they both have 93 speed. Daxton Hill is the 34th ranked corner. Like we're going to have a lot of low overall young players in our secondary. And 68 overall JT Woods here with his 93 speed will be our backup. With the 68 overall, he's the 68th rated free safety, so at least he's consistent. I mean, I guess it could be worse if free safety, at least they're fast. How about the other safety position? Can we at least have somebody over like 80 rated? Please, please, please. No, we can't. Oh, no. Nazee Johnson is the epitome of what's going to be the problem with this team. Even though he has 93 speed, he's the 84th ranked strong safety. At least as Ashton Davis with his 92 speed will be right behind him. But at least the secondary is officially complete, although that's not really a good thing. Team's overall is down to an 83 with an 89 offense, but the defense is a 77. We're going to move on to the defensive line here, which hopefully can bring up our overall. Starting with the left end position, and guys, we need good players ASAP because our defense is so bad, and we get another horrible player. Kyron Johnson, 68 overall. I mean, 92 speed is ridiculous ridiculous for a defensive end. I hope the freaking god dude right in is at least a little bit better. Yo! Oh, it's about time. Micah Parsons is our defensive savior, who also has 92 speed with 95 excel. Now, adding an absolute stud defensive tackle could be vital for this defense. Please give me another absolute banger. Ed Oliver isn't horrible. I mean, when you think about it, 83 speed is ridiculous for a defensive tackle. I I mean, at least the defensive line helps out this defense a little bit. It would also be helpful if we could clone Micah Parsons to play two positions, which we might as well go ahead and complete the defense with the linebacker core. Starting a middle linebacker because we're at least going to need two. Please give me at least like an 85 overall or higher. Isaiah Simmons with 93 speed I'll take. We also get Owen Papo, who hilarious enough replaced Isaiah Simmons in Arizona. How about outside linebacker? Because unfortunately it can't be Micah Parsons. Instead of Micah Parsons, we're getting Nolan Smith with 93 speed. We're gonna have a ton of absolute young studs on this squad. Like, look at that speed and excel. Come on, here on the right side, let's finish out our linebacking core with an absolute banger. And it's not. It's an absolute stinker. Amari Barno. Who the frick is this guy with 92 speed and 93 excel? The 93rd ranked outside linebacker. Davis will be the backup there because his speed is a Mickey Mouser. And this, my friends, is your official fastest possible defense in all of Madden 24. We went ahead and added the backups along the defensive line. We actually have Montez Sweat as a backup. But honestly, man, I'm surprised it's even an 80 overall. Because obviously it's fast, but a lack of talent, I think. We're going to need this offense to carry all season, which it's finally time to get to adding our skill position players. But before that, we need to add the fastest kicker and punter in the game. Starting here with our kicker. Come on, man. We have got to have a good kicker. Don't be a stinker. Don't be a stinker. It's not too shabby. Bear Baron here with a blazing 79 speed. And let me tell you, man, every team can use themselves a good punter and we get Jake Kamarda. A 75 rated punter with 86 speed? I mean, I guess our special teams could be much worse, which does currently have our overall at an 84 still with an 89 offense and an 80 defense. But now it's time to add the big boys. We actually need to get a fullback first because Ed Oliver is not going to be our starter there. Now, is there any fullback in the game with anything higher than 90 speed? No, but that's still solid. Corey Blassing game, the former Tennessee Titan with 
7 speed as a 72 overall fullback. I'm happy with that. How did that actually drop our overall? And hopefully this overall increases here once we actually replace these fake wide receivers in our depth chart. It is absolutely vital that this team has a solid wide receiver one, Tyreek Hill. I mean, you can't be mad at adding the second best receiver in the league with 99 speed and 99 excel. And the addition of Tyreek Hill brings the team back up to an 84. Now the question is who's going to be starting across from him? And that's going to be Jameson Williams. Definitely don't mind adding a receiver with 98 speed. Say some prayers for the DBs. They're going to have to cover our receivers deep. Now the offense is really starting to come together, but we still need our slot receiver. I know Tyreek Hill is certainly familiar with this fella. Jalen Waddle with 88 speed, and we also have to add Quez Watkins and Hollywood Brown, who both have 97 speed. Jalen Waddle with his 98 speed and 97 excel, like at least our offense is gonna be good. I mean, honest to God, that's a ridiculous receiving core. I am so curious to see what that brought our overall to. How on earth did it stay the same? But still, man, I'm actually so happy about this offense so far. We still have two of the most important positions left to go. Regardless of how good the offense ends up being, I just don't know if this defense is good enough to make the playoffs. Now, who on earth is going to be our starting running back? This offense would just be perfect if we could get ourselves a star running back. Please, Madden, please. 95 speed Raheem Mostert? Hold on, they both have 95 speed and they're both Dolphins? I mean, Devon here's a rookie. He might have to be our starter. Raheem Mostert will be the backup with 95 speed, but like, my God, dude, the entire offense is going to be Miami Dolphins. Now, we do need a third running back. It's actually a tie with 94 speed amongst all four of these running backs. But I think we are going to go with Kenneth Walker because he has the better acceleration and agility. I can't believe he has to be our RB3. I mean, that's for sure a running back trio I would like on my favorite team, which did finally bump the overall up to 85 because that brought our offense up to 91. But now for the ultimate of ultimate additions, who is going to be the starting quarterback for the fastest team in all of Madden? I have to say, though, there's a massive, massive twist here because the fastest quarterback here is Justin Fields with 93 speed, which is insane when you combine that with his 95 excel and 93 agility, but he's actually only gonna be the backup. And my friends, that's because the fastest quarterback in all of Madden 24 is none other than Lamar Jackson. With his 96 speed and acceleration and a 95 agility rating, our man just so happened to be chilling in free agency. And I'll gladly add Kyler Murray as our quarterback three with the respectable 92 speed. This has got to be the most ridiculous quarterback room of all freaking time, which officially keeps the teams overall at 85. Now this, my friends, is the fastest possible offense in all of Madden 24. And here you have your fastest possible defense. This offense is insane. I'm telling you, the offense is Super Bowl caliber. This defense is gonna have to prove, even with some low-rated starters, that they're still playoff caliber. Now it is officially time for this team to shine. Can the fastest possible team in all of Madden 24 make the playoffs? I want everyone to pause the video right now and leave a comment below of how many wins do you think this team is gonna get? I think they should at least get, what, like nine wins bare minimum? And not only did the team make the playoffs, they went 14 and freaking three! Now we've got to see if they can take it one step further and win the whole gosh dang thing. It doesn't surprise me that we had the third best offense in the league. Now, what does that mean? Yo, we also had the third best defense in the league, which actually allowed the least amount of points. You're telling me this defense was the third best in the league? Bro, look at how much some of these players actually progressed on offense. The fastest team really might be poised for a Super Bowl run. I mean, just a stupid season from Lamar. 15 rushing touchdowns. That is insane. 
team. He might have won MVP. And no, I really did not expect for James Sue Williams to be our leading receiver. Michael Parsons had 17 and a half sacks. He's the man that ran our defense. And shout out to Isaiah Simmons for leading us in tackles and having the most picks on the team. And Lamar did in fact win MVP. I'm telling you this team is destined for greatness. Now there is absolutely zero shot that the fastest team in the game gets first rounded by the Houston Texans. Did we really lose? Why do I get first rounded in every video? But at the end of the day, you can't be mad at a 14 and three season, especially with some of the starters we had on defense. Now, even though we didn't win the Super Bowl, hopefully you guys still did enjoy. And if you did, you can click right here to watch another video on the channel that I promise you might actually be a better video than this one.